My name is Jamie Archibald, and this is W. H. Auden's Musée de Beaux Arts. About suffering, they were never wrong. The old masters, how well they understood. Its human position, how it takes place, while someone else is eating, or opening a window, or just walking dully along. How when they aged, are reverently, passionately waiting for the miraculous birth there always must be. For children who did not especially want it to happen, skating on a pond at the edge of the wood, they never forgot that even the dreadful martyrdom must run its course. Anyhow, in a corner, some untidy spot where the dogs go on with their doggy life and the torturer's horse scratches its innocent behind on the tree. In Bruegel's Icarus, for instance, everything turns away quite leisurely from the disaster. The plowman may have heard the splash, the forsaken cry, but for him it was an unimportant failure. The sun shone as it had to on the white legs disappearing into the green water. And the expensive, delicate ship must have seen something amazing, a boy falling from the sky had somewhere to get to and sailed calmly on. This is, I find this to be a very plain representation of what I call the bystander phenomena, where it's easy to watch something horrible that happened, or for like a car accident, for example, but not to react and not to step in and not to intervene. In spite of empathy that we feel, um, it's easy to not put your neck on the line. Uh, when I was a child, this, this was told to me in terms of a bully. You should always step in, you should always intervene. And I love how it's simple and mundane it is to the reader. Just the people standing, the plower, the ship that had to be somewhere but could have probably waited a moment. And it's uh, clear enough. This is even more clear when you have seen the painting inspired by the ekphrastic poem. He's very near the boat. None of these events would greatly have suffered from a moment's interruption, and yet none of these people are so compelled to even look upon Icarus. I find it important that the representation of suffering, as it doesn't really affect anyone else, how some, someone you pass along the highway might as well have been, in, a, in an accident, might as well have been cast out to sea, how many celebrities have come forth to bring attention to a disease or human suffering abroad, only after it affected them or their families or someone brought it to their attention. When do we begin to consider the suffering important enough to look, to watch, or perhaps even to step in? Simply, I like how real the poem felt. How that no one thought twice about Icarus fell into the sea. And why should they? Would you? 